everyone happy monday welcome to a new video um in today's video i have got my nelkami gel polishes and i am going to do an aztec set of nails um if you are not if you want to do like an, this is like me right i wasn't sure i was like oh my god where do i start um i went on instagram and i just searched aztec nails and aztec nail art and honestly this i didn't realize how much aztec nail art there was but there's a lot so basically there's a few that i really liked and what i've basically done is taking um some inspiration from like several um different sets of nails and just like made my own so it's not inspired by one person specifically um but yeah i did have to look on into into instagram for some help Anyway, right, in my little palette here, these are my artisan gel paints. Because they come in pump bottles, you can't obviously put it back in the pot. So I just pump a little bit out into this palette. The palette was from Nelkami. So when you're doing fine lines and stuff, you're going to need fine liner brushes or striper brushes. So I have got my fine, my Nail Sugar Natalie Mugridge 7mm Ultra Fine Detailer Brush. I've got a 10mm liner brush from Nelkami and I've got I think it's something like 16 or 18 millimeters it's called the striper 2 brush from ugly duckling and as you can see they're all different lengths but I do use them all today in this video um I'm going to use the artisan gel paint in black and you can see I've loaded my brush up this is the Nelkami liner brush so I'm going to use this to the longer the lines the longer your brush that's kind of like what I've learnt along the way so if you're going to do a nail that goes from the top to the bottom no not a nail if you're going to do a line that goes from the top of the nail to the bottom of the nail i would use like a really long striper brush if they're not going to be that long you could get away with using this um 10 millimeter brush or a you know my seven millimeter brush it's up to it's up to you really um whatever works for you but i really like my super duper long ugly duckling striper 2 brush it's very very useful just saying so this nail is going to be the easiest nail and i mean i'm no fine line expert but i i suppose this is not going to be really this is just going to be a sort of like this is what i did not what you're supposed to do video um <laughs> i'm so helpful aren't i <laughs> not um so I have done, we've got like a little triangle here coming down from the cuticle area. And what I'm going to do is I am going to do another line here. That was a wonky one a little bit. And then what I do is I fill that last triangle in. So that's going to be solid black, but I'm just making it nice and neat first. And then what I'm going to do is, um, so Aztec designs have these like little step patterns. So what I'm going to do is, they're kind of like triangles, but they're not. They're, I'm trying to make them straight, like um, like horizontal and vertical lines. So look, this is the, the horizontal line, and then this is the vertical line. And then you can see we're making like some steps. So I'm going to fill each of these sort of steps in. And then I'm going to continue all the way down the nail until we get to the peak of the triangle. But it's, I don't know if it's a peak because the triangle's upside down. It's probably got a, it's probably like apex of the triangle. It's probably like some posh word that I don't know because I'm thick. <laughs> right. So yeah. So as you can see, we do our horizontal line, our vertical line, and then we fill it in. If you are more comfortable filling it in with a shorter brush, then do that. So we're going to fit one last little step in. And then I'm going to do like a little square at the very bottom. I'm going to do the other side off camera. And then I'm just going to pop like a little square at the bottom to finish that off. You'll see in a second. Um, you can also do um, like flash gears throughout. Do you see I've put a little square kind of bit on the bottom. Um, and then the artisan secure for 60 seconds so put this in for 60 seconds and then i'm going to use the velvet matte top coat all the nails today are going to be velvet matted um i really like this one i find that some matte top coats smear the colors a little bit 
this one doesn't seem to do that which is good because you don't want a smudged design underneath there we go so if you want it shiny that's what it will look like but if you want it matte then it will be like this so that is this is going to be the easiest of the designs that we're doing today so this is the first one right this is where it gets a little bit trickier we're going to use blue blue raspberry blue raspberry so i'm i do you know what i only do one coat of this it covers really nicely on a natural nail you may have to do two but these colors are really creamy and beautifully pigmented see one coat and then over the top of that right this is brand new i've not used this before so i've got to pump this for a little bit to get the color out but once it does it will start to get a little bit stiffer and then just be careful because you don't want it to you don't want it to fly out right i'm going to put it straight onto the nail because i'm yeah i, just, I don't want to waste any okay so i've got my seven millimeter detailer brush this is the nail sugar natalie mugridge detailer brush and i'm going to use this to make the wide it's going to be like a wide line oh i've just said that i had to just cut some cut some stuff out because my other half made a very very disgusting noise <laughs> so i want this this is going to be i'm going to make this wider if you need to add some more gel paint i probably could have done with a smidgen more but i didn't want to um I didn't want to pump any more out there we go and i am gonna go down the edges of this with a what do you call it um with a black with a black line using the black artisan gel paint so i'm going to cure that i only cure that for 30 seconds then i'm using the striper 2 brush this is the really long one and i'm just loading the brush up you can like completely fill up that whole brush all that all the bristles but i kind of like i only kind of use it like halfway up does that make sense i only like fill it about halfway and you, look they just make the the nicest straight lines and then what we're going to do is we're going to add some like triangle shapes inside this gold band i'm gonna call it a gold band there we are i will flush cure this though there we go so that's nice and straight okay so i'm moving on to moving back to my seven millimeter detailer brush now the triangles are going to be like on their side so we're gonna have like one line we're gonna have one main triangle in the center to start us off Again, I want to keep my lines relatively thin. I don't want them. I don't want them too thick. I'm trying to make everything equal, if you know what I mean. But I do make the, the triangles are all slightly different, which wasn't my intention. <laughs> They're just all like slightly wonky. There we go. I'm going to give that a quick flash cure. Okay, so inside some of these triangles, I am going to put some more triangles. The triangles that look like a greater than sign. I think that that way yeah that's a, yeah that is a greater than sign i'm pretty sure it is anyway i'm probably wrong <laughs> but i'm going to put some triangles inside this one so i think i put two extra and then i do a third tiny tiny one and then this one this really really teeny teeny weeny tiny one i'm going to fill it in there we go so I will, I think I, do I flash cure it? I can't remember. Hmm. No, I do not. There we go. I'm feeling brave, clearly. Um, so the triangles that go the same way as that middle triangle, I'm going to do, I'm going to like repeat the process, right, repeat the pattern. And, and then I'll, I'll, um, I'll let you watch and then I'll come and speak to you again. Okay, so that is going to go into flush cure, and then the triangles that that look like a, um, you know, the, I don't know, what, it's, it's greater than, less than, you know, the triangles that go the other way. We're just going to put like a little tiny triangle in the centre and fill this in. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. 
and I'm going to do another one here and I will try and get like half of one in at the top there we go so yeah we, I tried to put one here because a little bit of the triangle probably would be showing there and then the same at the top um if you're in the UK let me know if you got snow today because there would only be snow I think it's hit mostly hitting east the east of England but we we got a little bit we didn't get masses but we got enough it's enough for me it's still really slippery though okay so down the right side of the nail I've left a little bit of a gap it's only a small gap and then I'm gonna add oh I've added a, a like a single line and then I'm going to add, you know, like we've done on the first nail, we've done some steps. Well, I am going to do some steps on here. If you want to, well, I literally, yeah, I'm only going to do the one side. If you want to do both sides, you can. But I am going to add some crystals um, just to add some sparkle to the nails because, you know, why the heck not? So I'm going to do the step thing all the way down the this side. I'm going to do the steps and then fill them in and then I will flush cure okay there we go and as if by magic so yeah so that's going to be going that's going to be going for a flash what that's going to be flash cured no it's going to be fully cured sorry and now we're going to velvet matte top coat so if you don't want to put crystals on I would probably repeat the steps the other side because I think it looks a bit weird only having them on one side but don't worry because we've not quite finished yet okay pop that in for 30 seconds right so we've so far these are the two nails that we've done so we're getting there we're going to do one more the next one i think is um i think it might be the most complicated but i'm not sure two two salts two coats of salt stone nearly got it all wrong then so we're gonna do what we've done on the first now we're doing our our triangle and again i'm i've changed now to the long the striper two the long long striper brush it doesn't matter which one you use just you just play around and find out which one you prefer to use which one works better for you um i'm gonna do another triangle inside this one and then i'm gonna do another triangle inside that one this one is going to be a little bit closer to the last triangle and then i do go over the line slightly just to thicken them up a little bit sometimes i feel like <clears throat> if they're thin they can look if they're too thin they can look a little bit messy not messy that's probably not the right word um i'm not quite sure what i'm trying to say but then that happens a lot <laughs> So on the bottom bit, near the free edge, we're going to do another triangle. Try and make sure you keep it all equal, Symmet symmetrical, I mean, it's the right word. And then on the bottom here, we're going to do some steps. Don't worry too much if this is this these lines are thick because the steps will kind of cover those thick lines up. I must have been watching Homeland here. <laughs> I'm still watching Homeland, you know. I've been on it about a week. I think I'm on season six now. It's really good. Yep, so here we go. Look, I'm just thickening up some lines ever so slightly. I just, it just makes them look, a, to me, in my opinion, makes them look a little bit neater. They're not, I mean, they're, they're not, they're still fine lines, I suppose. They're just, they're not, you know, not, ugh, shut up now, it's okay. Okay, so I'm going to give that a flash cure. Then I am going to add some rectangular bars. I don't know what you'd call this. But basically, all we're doing is, oh, I've called them bars. They're kind of like just really thick lines, but they cut off. They don't, they just stop. Um, so I'm, again, I've, look, I've used the Striper 2 brush. Um, I've, if I'd have thought about this, I probably just would have done this with my detailer brush. I'm going to do the same the other side so that again it's symmetrical so yeah so i'm moving to my seven my kids playing with cardboard boxes 
Um, so yeah, moving to my seven millimeter brush. Now I'm gonna use this to fill in the lines and I will use them to neaten up the very ends of the triangles there. I'm gonna do the same this side. There we go, so you just, there we go, look. Ta -da! And then we'll do the same this side. Oh my God. Scott, what are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And they want to come down the nail. It's a bit like, you know, when your hairdresser cuts your fringe in, you want the end, you want one side to be the same length as the other side. So make sure they're the same length. And then I'm just going to add, I don't even know what you call this. I kind of wanted to fill this section in and add some lines. So the rest of this sort of, that we're going to put some really fine lines in here. So the... I find not loading my brush up too much here helps because you don't want to end up with a thick blob of gel polish on the end of your brush. Otherwise, that will ruin your fine line. Do you know what I mean? And then this bit here, this is where I'm going to add some steps in. So again, like we did before, I'm doing a vertical line and a horizontal line. So we're going to do the left side and the right side. Oh, I really need a cup of tea. Uh, does anyone else have coffee whitener in their tea? <laughs> I love coffee. I know it's like coffee whitener or coffee mate. So I buy the cheapy supermarket one though. Um, I love it in tea. It's amazing. I really want one now. And a, and a, and a spoon of half spoon. Oh, I love it. I want to get one in a minute. So yeah, so... Here we go, look, you can see, and these aren't, um, these are, they look slightly like taller, they look like tall steps, that's not the, I didn't necessarily mean them to be like that. This one's a little bit more squared, but as long as they're all roughly kind of the same, <clears throat> then yeah. <laughs> I'm going to finish going all the way up. Ta -da! There we go, so that is what I meant by that, that's going to go in the lamp to cure. And then I'm going to add some fine lines on these sections as well, just to fill those in. I wanted this now to have like a little bit more going on in it. There we go. I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure. And then again, I am going over with the velvet matte top coat. This one's a nice one. It literally makes the, the nails velvety. It's really nice to touch. <laughs> okay, so that's going to go in for 30 seconds. And then... These, if you don't want to, if you if you want to finish it off like that, that's absolutely fine. You can just leave them like that. I wanted to add just a little bit of sparkle onto a couple of the nails. So I have dug out my clear Preciosa crystals. These are from the Crystal Parade. I do have a code NAP5 that will save you 5% off your order. I'm going to be using my Crystal Pro. This is the Scarlet Centre Crystal Pro. And the Crystal Totalist Gem Glue. Ta-da! From Nelchemy, obviously. <laughs> so I, what I do is I dip the end of my Crystal Pro into the Gem Glue and I'm just going to put a little dot where I want the crystals to go. These crystals I'm using are the Teeny Weeny SS3s and I'm just going to put a few, like a couple of millimetres apart inside that little, that triangle there. It was like the perfect size to put the SS3s in. And then I'm going to repeat the other side. And the gem glue cure... <laughs> the gem glue cures for 60 seconds. Or cures in 60 seconds. So I pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I have dug out some... These are actually Swarovskis. These are, the, these are some of the few Swarovskis I've got. These are Tanzanite Shimmer. These look... They're blue... But, well, they look blue. Tanzanite's more of a purple. I don't know. Anyway, um, they've got like, they've got like a yellowy gold look to them as well. Like the, sh they sh the shimmer in them. And the nail is obviously blue and gold. So I thought these would look perfect. And actually, I think they done, I think they would, I think I chose really well. If I do say so myself. <laughs> so all just all the way up this side, 
I'm going to put the crystals. So it's basically like the crystals are replacing the steps. If you don't want to put crystals... Oh, look, I spilled them. Whoops. If you don't want to put crystals on, then I would suggest you put the steps on, as I said before earlier. So I'm going to go... I'm just going to finish off by going all the way down the nail. And this is them all done. All shiny and sparkly and matte not shiny but the crystals are shiny um i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing um i'll leave the nail website link in the description box below and the crystal parade website is in there with the discount code for you have an amazing monday enjoy the snow if you've got any and i will see you tomorrow